How long after you've lost something do you simply forget about it? Well, for one Eastern Iowa man, it's been decades since he last saw a precious piece of jewelry. But now the memories have returned. KCRG TV 9's Allison Wong joins us live from Dubuque tonight to explain. Bruce, it's been 40 years since Ray Schmucker last saw this wedding ring. He had only recently showed up in an unexpected place and with the help of a stranger. Something Will Fry has enjoyed his whole life is working on cars. I have a 69 Oldsmobile. It was my very first car I bought in 1984, and the motor died on me last the end of last summer. This motor called it quits, so we picked up the newspaper and called the number listed on an ad. Ray said, I've got this Oldsmobile. It's been sitting about 20 years. The car way past its prime. Will bought it for the motor. But Ray Schmecker remembers why he bought it brand new back in 72. My wife got cancer, and that's when everything kind of fell apart. To get his wife to and from her chemotherapy appointments for her breast cancer. Had a lot of good times and a lot of bad times in the old car. Ray and his kids figured selling the car to Will would give it a new life but they'd get even more. It was kind of looked like a donut hole, but it had a little shine through it, and I picked it up just to see what it was, and here it, I got moving it, or chipping through it, it was a ring. I called Ray's daughter to see if they knew um, anybody lost a wedding band. I had said, well, kind, and he had said a wedding band, and I said that my father had lost a wedding ring, but it had diamonds in it, and he said, this one does. A picture confirmed it was Ray's long lost ring, the one he lost shortly before his wife had passed away. I really treasured it. So my wife, she went right back to town the next day and bought another one. Now he has two rings and his daughter. I just found out that I had breast cancer and I lost my mom to breast cancer and my sister told me that it was a sign. Now she has the drive she needs to fight this. That everything was going to be okay. And Ray says all of this might not have happened. I was going to send it to the junkyard uh, a month or so before that. And if I'd have done that, it'd have been gone. For Will. I felt great that, you know, <laughs> something real good came out of it. The reunion of a lifetime. Now, Ray really isn't sure how the ring got in the motor. He believed he lost it back in 1974 when he was helping a friend out with a vehicle on the side of a road. He really has no idea how it could have got in the motor. Live in the Dubuque Newsroom, Allison Wong, KCRG TV9 News.